Right, welcome back. We're over at the installer show. It's day two. Me and Adam went, we're, well, we were on here for a bit yesterday. We had some food last night with CT1. We're meant to be on their stand right now because it's 10 o'clock and everyone's about to surge in. I want to show you some stuff. So, Velocity, this is the second prototype of the bag, which I was on about. Ready, watch this ad, watch this, ready? Oh, mint. And as you can see, we've still got the positions of the screwdrivers. There's a few little tweaks and bits and bobs to change over. But all in all, that's what we've got. And I'll show you the bag, compartment wise. So, as and when I get my hands on this bag, because when the third prototype turns up, this is being sent to me and I can do a load out. So sort of show you guys and use it for a little bit what it's going to be. There's a few other bags that have been brought here. And I've got my fourth bag, which I haven't told you a lot about yet, but it is here, so we can run through that. And we can run through the sleeve and dispenser. Sleeve it, which is just over there. <coughs> this This is the TCS 4.0, which is like my bags on steroids a little bit-ish, as in it's a bit thicker. You've got similar pockets in the front. It's a different compartment here, uh, but in the back what you have is a dual compartment that allows you to pull out and have the bits there. So you can either take that out and just put some drills and bits of bobs in there. So that's what that is. But, right, I'll show you sleeve it. Come with me and you'll see. We'll come back to this in a sec. Sorry guys, can I just pinch the stand a sec? That's not good, is it? Sleeve it, right. Final, right, so this is the final design and it's, it's so nearly ready. Uh, the guys are here, so it's a funny story. I came up with the idea at the same time as someone else came up with an idea and we pushed it together. It was given to Velocity, so it's both of our sort of baby, if that makes sense. Um, so what we've got here is interchangeable set with your spools, you can turn around, you can rewind these spools if you want, but they're also being sold as well. Snap that back in place, do the lid, it pops out, so you can pull it and it doesn't fall back in. You've got your snips, put it on. But the cool thing with this, this can either hang off tool bags, tool belt, or if you're doing a fuse board, it has a magnet on it, so you can put it on the fuse board, you can pull it out, snip it on, with all the different cartridges. I'm pretty sure it's doing two to three mil sleeving, and also four to five. Simon in the background. Uh, it's leaving as well. That is so nearly ready to be mass produced and sold to you guys, and it won't be expensive either, and the cartridges, but I don't quite know pricing yet. Let's jump over to my secret bag, which I didn't realize was gonna be here, that I've not spoken to you guys at all, which is a small testing bag that will fit in van vaults, which is, let me find it. We haven't come up with a, a name yet. It's gonna be the NB, T1, whatever, I don't know. It's the design of, imagine the lunchbox style, but a lot bigger with a hard bottom, where we turn around and have, and I'm, off, I'm taking this back as of tomorrow to show you what, how we can load it out. I wanted a simple tester bag with the leads that can keep in the van vault, we haven't got to worry about it, and we, we don't need anything extra. So, as we go in here, interchangeable bits to make our pockets for our plug tops, our tester, and it should fit the variations of all MFTs. This is what's being tweaked a little bit. So we have our top here. I'm gonna have a play with the torque driver and see what we can do with different bits and bobs. But that's the plan with that. And it's gonna be a decent tool bag, a decent testing bag for bits and bobs. Electrician, plumbers, everyone can use it themselves. That's, don't know the name. That's all I know so far, but you'll see me do a load out with that. And the last thing I wanna show you is this. So this is early stages. It's called the Cable Pal. You can put one mil, well, any size cable up to, I think even a 10 mil in here. This is still a 3D printed model, so it's still in the process of being made. What it is, you put your cable in, you slap it down, you put it on, you calibrate it to what size cable it is. So if you've got one mil, this is set to 2.5. And as you pull that out, it counts down the meterage of cable. So you know what you've got. You can either have these in the van, they can stack onto each other. Yeah, eventually that's what it'll look like, but this is early development of what it, it is. So we'll be trying them out, testing them out, and this isn't going to be expensive either, so, which is nice, because we look at so we think only about 150 quid, but it's, it's nowhere near that. And I will, I'll give you a slight peek over before we run over to CT1 at the other testing bag that's being made, which is uh, like sort of briefcase style. Sorry, mate, which is this one. I think, I think the Velcro is going, but I'm not too sure yet. But it has 
the hard base, open it up, and it's very similar. It's like half the size of the uh, 8.5 testing bag, like sliced in half with a briefcase style. So insert briefcase joke off in between, is it? But yeah, that's going to be available very soon as well. Um, so we're only over CT1 stand. That's the stuff available. Mr. Ryan's here. Look, he doesn't look that hungover either. Hi, mate. You're hurting. You Come here. We are hurting a bit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm alright, it's amazing, guys. Time to get in. You just disappeared last night. Yeah, I was like, I've had enough. About 12, I was like, I'm gone. I got back and when I drank Coke, Adam kept drinking. Well, you had about four beers around him last night. I got back at half one. Half <laughs> one? Go? And then recorded me snoring in the room. Strip club. Sorry? What? He doesn't know what that is. And last but not least, which I completely forgot, it's just turned up, which is the uh, pod. What do we, what are we calling this? Drill pod? Yeah, drill pod. Nice, hard, cool, cool material, isn't it? The double, old DP. Double penetration. That's what you're... Never mind. Uh, we're going to load this out. We're going to take a few home with us today. This is the final product. This is all up for sale now. Interchangeable bits, drill bits, you name it. We'll put it in there. Tool check plus. The slide in there. But we'll set that out. We're going to be... Have you been given one yet? No. Do you want me to get you one? There you go. <laughs> for ages. So this is CT1 where we're at. It's just full of testosterone. you got these guys. Come on. There he is. Uh, you've got to hang for as long as you can, so the suction cups are held on with CT1 or BT1, wherever it is, up top. The longest time Power yesterday, is it? Bond. Power grab and bond. Someone hung for over three minutes yesterday, which is ridiculous. Adam's about to smash it, he just told me, I'll, I'll beat that, no problem. That's a long time. a long time. So, we've got Simon, we've got Ash, Madden, we've got everyone's here. So, just opened up. And my friend's expert trader here, Vienna. Oh, just got, you've got a better angle than me, so I was just recording yours. <laughs> <Do you mean? laughs> super glue. Looks like all your ordinary super glues on the market. That's where the serum hilarities end, though. Our super glue is back to its old formula, so it's 99.8% pure cyanoacrylate. So let's clean this up. So what that means is we can bond virtually anything with it. So even rubber surfaces. And as you've probably noticed there, I didn't use the activator. Our activator is really just to seal the surface because as this is 99.8% pure cyanoacrylate, there's no need to use the activator. So I just blow that on this moisture cure so we can just speed up the side. I'll leave that there for a second. Then your activator comes into play when you're bonding porous materials, because what this is doing is sealing the surface. So you spray it on both surfaces if they're both porous. Glue onto one. I'll do that offset slightly, just to show you can use the activator if you want to, to cure it, but less is more. It's like spray, and that is it cured. I'll get you, because you're not holding a camera, to break that for me. They got it. Yeah, so what you'll see, yeah, the bond hasn't gone. It's the MDF itself. It's gone on there. So you'll see there. Pardon? And now I've just stuck the glue, stuck the rubber to my hand, and then just see, obviously just a little bit of the glue. That's in second. You'll see, yeah. But you could do it more than... And there you go. And it dries. Crystal clear, which oh, I don't have any perspex, so I can't even show you that bit, so yeah. Right, it's coming to the end of uh, Mine Adam's day, innit, mate? Uh, we've just been having a chinwag with... Civet? Civelle? How would you say it? Clivet. Clivet. Yeah, we've been having a chat with this company here with the battery storage and you've got the air source heat pumps and you've got aircon units and whatnot. And there should be something, there should, might be something popping up, so keep your eye out for that. But uh, I'm just going to go and pick up some of the velocity stuff now and um, I say head back to the van, but Adam drove. Yeah. So we'll say bye to everyone and uh, yeah, we'll have a bit of a, a wind down in the car.